Thank you for checking out this Back to the City Spotlight on the band and the person, Michael. Welcome, Michael. Hello. I'm excited for the first opportunity to see the new band, uh, which is going to be at the Kitty Cat Club on June 24th. Playing with you will be both Witch Watch and Mr. Submissive, whose mm -hmm. music we can hear beneath our conversation, because there is no released Michael music. So Not yet, no. I've had the privilege of listening to a few of the tracks, and I highly recommend going and hearing them live right on. on Sunday. Cool. On the recordings that perhaps yeah. no one else will ever hear, <laughs> uh, there was some really interesting backing vocals. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, layered my voice a bit, and uh, I think it'll be an interesting way to see how it all kind of comes together, both the live and whatever the final studio product ends up being. Is that a feature that you think will probably work? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's a big part of the sound, I think, is having the layered vocals and having those kind of harmonies. What are some other new features? I don't know. I think this kind of like new material I've been working on have just overall encapsulates a lot of the ideas that I've been approaching for a while. Mm -hmm. um, just about the sort of pleasing sounds I sort of want to hear in a contemporary rock group so a lot of like you know a lot of density i suppose but you know maybe some moments of uh sparseness here and there not really though it's a pretty maximalist project you're one of my favorite local lyricists oh right and, I, and thank you for <laughs> thank you for sharing the new lyrics uh, sure. they're great but i feel like many of them have a different uh quality or character to lyrics that you've had for, for Chalk. Yeah. Do you agree? And if so, how would you describe the difference in yeah. the style? Yeah, sure. I think they're worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I Do don't, you? Do you think they're worse? I don't think they're worse. I okay. Think, I think that I like the, the old <laughs> lyrics a lot. I think these are different. I don't think yeah. they're worse. Sure. Well, let's focus on the song Betrayal slash forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it's kind of two songs. Sure. In in one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If the music is more maximalist, like the lyrics at least for that is a more minimalist. Yeah, that one in particular, um, I did want to try and just use as minimal amount of words as I could to kind of paint as large and broad a picture as I could. If the song Betrayal, slash the song Betrayal, mm -hmm. Forgiveness was on a studio recording. Mm -hmm. Would it be one song or would it be split into two? I think it would be two songs, but it would have a nice, you know, little transition yeah. thing in there. It does, but, yeah. already even. Did yeah, you, did you play yeah. the two songs back to back sure. at Kitty Cat Club? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we haven't worked out the second, we haven't worked out Forgiveness, but okay. the the Betrayal, we will play that one. My general lyrical style when I'm putting forth like a body of work, an album, uh, is to kind of have <clears throat> sort of uh, sort of this like landscape and I've kind of been thinking more about that in creating these songs, at least from the lyrical side of things, um, is to kind of have this uh, this like large picture that they all kind of fit into mm. and they don't necessarily uh, makes sense maybe by themselves but like maybe in the context of the larger picture they sort of do and I guess this time around I wanted to kind of connect it all to like this sort of uh, spatial temporal emotional landscape mm. thing and they all kind of fit into that so I think, I think that that's kind of the way that the lyrics work this time around I guess they're less detailed which maybe would make me think that they're worse, but I don't know. <laughs> they're not worse. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> great. Cool. You, uh, as long as I got the Cal Calder seal of approval, then. <laughs> I, only really, I only really write my lyrics for you, to be honest. <laughs> you hear that? Well, because you're the only one who like listens to the local artist lyrics so intentionally. It's, I love it. It's great. Oh, like, thank you, Michael. Yeah. God so bless Simon Calder. There's one lyric. <laughs> which, thank you. That's very really nice. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. one lyric that isn't written for me, then, because in near the end of End of Days, if I could know you'd hear it yeah I'd be singing different lyrics yeah I think you know that part's like a bit of fun you know because you know you want to just be 
rocking on stage and then you're like oh yeah this is good moment we'll, like sing this lyric really dramatically and like <laughs> the lights hitting the band right and there's sparkles in the air it just feels good it just yeah. felt right it was the right moment and it's like i'm looking forward to that right moment on sunday <laughs> yeah yeah that part yeah it's good i've wanted to play that part that particular moment of that song for a long time yeah my intention had always been to kind of build a live band around these songs and then kind of have that feedback with the group and then kind of bring whatever that makes into the studio and so then the ensuing album will kind of be a combination of like the live stuff we've done and like my demos and then kind of quite a bit its own thing that extra studio magic does the ensuing album have a title it does, yeah, but you know, I don't want to say secret. too much, <laughs> yeah, I right? Say, yeah. I mean, they got got to keep them interested yeah. somehow. So <laughs> it'll be next time. Yeah, and you ask such good, thick questions, and you're just gonna ask me all these great things. I'm just gonna want to tell you so much. Okay, I'll, and I'll just lay it all out, and then <laughs> no secrecy, no, no secrecy, no, no mystery. I, no. you know. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we can have another interview. We can have another you turn interview. Turn the cameras yeah. off. I'll tell you anything you want to know, man. Take you to my house. I'll play them for you. I'll play the whole album. I would love that. And that goes Maybe for anyone, is. really, yeah. who's watching or whatever. Just come over. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang out. It'd be great. But they film it. Don't, yeah, keep it on the low. 